here across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New England Patriots and the New York Giants. From the six. And he returns this to the 22. And New York set to take the field. Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Throwing Jones. He's going to let this one go deep and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Patriots take over. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 43. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Finding Bourne here over the middle. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. To throw again on second down. Jones got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Here we go now on first and goal. Off the play fake. Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. 
a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the six. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding penalty. And so many different assignments you can have at that position. And sometimes you might just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. It's Barkley on the counter. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. I love those corners who can not only cover, but don't mind getting a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Jones. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Patriots are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Second down and eight. They run once more with Stevenson. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. Back to throw, Jones. He's got his man, it's Kendrick Bourne. And they're gonna work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Off play action, Jones. And this is caught and out of bounds all the way down at the three. That one goes for 30 yards. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. Stevenson will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Stevenson again. And this time he'll run into a wall right at the four-yard line. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Jones going to throw on third and goal. And it's caught. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball on these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Giants ready to come out now. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Looking to throw. Jones and this will be caught it's Isaiah Hodgins first time these two have hooked up this afternoon and it's a first down back to throw Jones that's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for not. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. On second down, here's Barkley, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 
That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Throwing on second and eight. Jones finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Jones now throwing on first down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Isaiah Hodgins was his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Back to throw again. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Isaiah Hodgins from four yards out. And the Giants are back within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Gano the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And now out come the Patriots. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now Jones, and that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football. And he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again, Jones. Got the connection here to board. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Looking to throw, Jones. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, throwing back across his body. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays. But you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. New England's offense set to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again, Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A solid gain of 15 yards, and the sticks move. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. 
And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. <laughs> and this is going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and ten. Jones and the Giants now with a first and ten at their own 23. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here's Jones. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Patriots ready to get the football back. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's Jones, throwing to start the drive. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. When you run into slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing again. Jones. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A pickup of five that time and a first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have, to have a few men in the box there. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 
to throw again. Jones. Henry's got it. Out on the left side. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 38-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a handoff, Stevenson. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Now Jones on first down. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Back to throw. Jones, complete. Hunter Henry with the grab. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V feeders on the interior of this D line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. And folks, kick is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Jones throwing to start the drive. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Up the middle with Barkley. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
Flushed out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Big Leonard Williams, the one who came in and got him. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. On second and 12, Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. This is third down and 12. Looking to throw, Jones. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now we get to see the punter, Corliss Waitman. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. That'll be a 44-yard boot. Just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And that will come the offense as they take over. And New York set to take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. We'll see how this one continues. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Being chased out, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. After the sack on first down, Jones under pressure, and they got to him again. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. Barkley inside handoff. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Fair 
Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. So the Patriots coming out now. We've got a little more than a minute to go, and I think the offense is saying, hey, all we need here is a field goal, and we can take the lead into intermission. Do I think that's what the goal should be. Give your kicker a chance to give you those three points. But in the meantime, if someone falls asleep on the defensive side, he might take advantage. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The fumble on first down now, here's second down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw. Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They go play action here on first down. Complete, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. 14 yards is the pickup there on a New England first down. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up third and two. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Crowder now to return. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Let's go, let's go. 
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They begin with a run by Barkley. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. On second and very short, Jones. He'll fight. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Jones now. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Running left is Stevenson. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Looking to throw, Jones. He completes it to Henry. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Here's Jones on first and 10. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Jones gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England trying to get to place on offense. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw, Jones. And he'll just get rid of it. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. 
Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Jones. It gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second and eight. Now Jones. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big pickup of 38. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A give for Stevenson running right, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Throwing on second and eight. Jones, pass incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Back to throw, Jones. Pass on the out route, caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. The folks' kick is good, and they have regained the lead. So it's his third field goal now with the ball game, and they've needed his leg. This last one gives him the lead. It's been a back-and-forth kind of a game, hasn't it? Now you got to tell your defense, guys, need you to make this stand up because we've got the momentum going in the right direction, but we need you to make sure we carry it home. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. Let's play. Let's play now, baby. Let's play. Who's gonna make a play, baby? After the main field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throwing Jones. And that would complete to Hodgins. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Second and two. Looking to throw. Jones going right side. He finds Slayton. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Operating from the gun. Jones, a pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Back to throw. Jones. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you're scrambling a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Yeah, no question. He got to the QB late CD, and that's going to get a flag every time. Every single time. Because let's face it, the league is always going to have an emphasis on these calls. They want to take care of these quarterbacks who are in vulnerable positions when they're passing the football. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Now left side on the swing pass. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Jones throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. 
This offense so far on third down, they've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and four. Operating from the gun, Jones. And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Let's put the field what we got to do here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. Catch made by Slayton. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Back to throw. Jones. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. Here's Jamie Gillen now, standing just outside his own goal line. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Meanwhile, Jones throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Looking to throw. Jones. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. Now Jones throwing to start the drive to Barkley on the check down. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A handoff to Barkley. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line.
A potential field goal if you're thinking about that. Almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. Back to throw. Jones. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for a fourth quarter lead. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they'll remain down by two. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 44. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now a pass that's taken in by Smith-Schuster. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. He'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? get closer and smother it just as they did on that last play eight yards to go on second down looking to throw Jones he's got Slayton on the slant well, that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Throwing on second and eight. Jones. He'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Yeah. 
From the 45 on second down, Jones. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He'll find Hodgins there complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 82 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. A handoff, Barkley running left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Giants have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football. touchdown here to kick it away no run back here for Jones a touchback and now out come the Patriots and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one Jones and the Pats now with a first and ten at their 25 yard line Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And he will bring this down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to ball his way down to about the 1-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Off the play fake. Jones. Slot under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. 
Matt Judon able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. A CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Well, if this defense can hold them to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal, so they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to put him a touchdown and a two-point conversion up. Gano's kick is good, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So that gets him a little bit of breathing room, but not much. And you have to think back to the field goal that he missed earlier. This would be a two-score game right now if he converted then. And if you and I are thinking about it, you know he is as well, because in the back of his mind, he's thinking, I hope I get one more shot in an important spot. He just made that one. He wants one more later to truly make up for the earlier miss. Knocking through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. So now Jones and the Patriots down by eight. Just under two minutes to go. They need a touchdown and, of course, the two-point conversion as well. To throw is Jones. He's got Smith Schuster. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Not a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Jones. He's going to let it fly. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Now Jones, and caught by Henry. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards there, a first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now, still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game.
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's Jones. This is caught, and he's into the end zone. No flags. It's a touchdown, and now a two-point conversion, and we'll be tied here in the final minute. Do they have one big call left? Here we go. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. Jones. That's caught at the one. And after all that, they are set up in unbelievable field position. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the safe calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal. Oh, and it's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have poise. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Keeping the aggression going on defense in overtime here, a first down blitz. You know you can get burned on it big time if they pick it up. But in this situation, they brought the blitz, put some pressure on the QB, and he wasn't able to complete a pass downfield. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Jones. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Eluding the pressure right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. 
They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. It's third and four. Big play here. Try to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. Throwing Jones. Steps away to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. New England's offense set to go. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Now it's Jones' turn in overtime. He's got a man complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Parker. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Backed up deep in their own territory, they were in search of a cushion, and the cushion was found. And you have to think total game, even in overtime. As a head coach, field position still counts in this spot. So they had to get out from the shadow of their own goal line get themselves some breathing room. Obviously, that helps them on offense, but it may help their defense, too. Might be necessary here in OT. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Jones toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet inbounds. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bobby Okereke running in and bringing him down. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Off 
Play action. Jones. He'll let this go deep for Bourne. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. The Patriots send out their punter. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And it'll be giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete to Slayton. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. This being their second opportunity in overtime, third overall drive, see if they can settle into a rhythm. And that's what you're looking for. Get a few first downs, move the ball downfield, have some confidence, get yourself in a spot where you can at least kick a field goal to win it. But I tell you this, if I'm the play caller, I'm looking at that part of my sheet that says playmakers. Get the ball in their hands, critical situation, now's their time. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And now we've got a review here. All challenges in overtime, of course, initiated by the replay official here in the stadium. the middle with Barkley and for one of the few times here today this run's not going to go anywhere call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down and when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game so after the run for no gain here's second and ten they'll go to Barkley again That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with Breda. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So it all comes down to the right foot of Graham Gano. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Giants win the football game. But Charles, a very simple mission anytime that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf. And today, that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital.